some river otters up here. Oh, there he is. Two. They clearly don't like me too much. I'm gonna have to be very lucky to get a good shot. There's a beaver. Oh, there he goes. Here we go. I might spend the next two hours just aimlessly paddling through the marsh. I've just come around the corner on this point and there's a bald eagle out on this old duck blind. All right, well, kayak's ready to be launched, ready to get to paddling. So, came out here this morning to the Rappahannock, I hope I'm saying that right, the Rappahannock River in uh, Virginia. Actually, I believe right up there, the direction that I'm going, it's Maryland and Virginia. Could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, I was trying to think of expedition ideas, video ideas. I thought, what if I, what if I did more, more kayaking trips? The water is, is an interesting and uh, exciting way to get around, you know? Um, I was like, you know what? I don't really know what, what I can do in a kayak. Like how, how far can I go? What, you know, how, how fast can I travel? I'm gonna be traveling downriver. Uh, my goal for the day is hopefully 20 miles and that's just going off of hiking. Um, so when I was on the Pacific Crest Trail, we'd hike uh, on average, you know, if you took the whole trip on average, which does take some, some building up to, but it would be about 20 miles a day. Um, so if I, if I can get close to 20 miles, uh, that'll give me a metric that I'm familiar with um, for how far I can travel via kayak. Of course, that's completely dependent on weather and tides and currents. Um, this is tidal. It should be rising and falling no more than a foot, foot and a half. Um, with I, at f about two o'clock in the afternoon, I think max is going to be no more than a mile and a half to two miles per hour um, tide. So I don't think that's going to be anything uh, to be concerned about. Maybe it will. Um, there are places on the river in the direction I'm going that I can that I can get off um, that I can get off the water if I need to. So we're gonna see how many miles I can paddle in one day. All right, cool. Well, let's get in the water. All right. Here we go. Water's almost coming up through the scubber plugs. But I think we're good. I think we are good. All right. Just gotta attach the lanyard. Start getting out of here. We're off. Chilling. Oh yeah. About to rig up my VS makeshift VS seventeen panel. nice overhanging branch that nobody's likely to mess with from the uh, from the shore I'm just gonna hoist this up here all right on each side red via 17 panel 
deployed. I hope I can see that from a distance. I know, I mean, at least at night, I'll be able to see the chem lights from at least that bend in the river. Cool. All right, what time is it? It is just about eight o'clock. Took me a lot longer to get going than I hoped, but you know, that's part of the experiment. Um, so, yeah, that red tape's definitely not as bright as a real piece of VS-17, but, you know, do what you can. So, whether I've made the 10 miles or not, 1300 is the magic number. If it hits one o'clock in the afternoon, time to turn around. This is gonna be, so, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> of course it would be being in a kayak, but it is pretty difficult getting the camera equipment out of the Pelican case in the back. Um, so this might be a very GoPro heavy video. Which would definitely need to be addressed um, if I were to do a longer kayaking, you know, a multi-day kayaking trip. Um, but you know, that's, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm out here. Let's figure these things out for the future, for future trips, future exploration. All right, due to the lack of storage space, I know this isn't exactly the kayak for multi-day river adventures, but it'll definitely do the job for today. I did make some modifications to it the day before when I got all of the gear together and figured out a float plan. I needed a new seat, some extra shock cord, and a lanyard to keep the paddle from floating away. All right, all the anchors are uh, mounted for the seat. Let's, uh, let's sit down and see what see how it feels. Ah. Oh, this is gonna be rough. It might as well not be there. <laughs> $50 kayak seat from Dix is a no-go. Don't waste your money. I obviously don't have room for multiple days worth of food and gear, but I did want to load this kayak down with as much as I could to get it to sit a bit heavier. With my launch location and direction of travel all figured out, I did leave a message with my girlfriend Kristen with some rescue information just in case things went sideways. Now back to what quickly became endless hours of paddling. Yeah, I was pulling over to try and get a shot of this bald eagle that was above me. Doing all right. With it being 9.30 in the morning, just over four miles, just pulling up to this marsh area called uh, Drake's Marsh. Sitting at seven and three quarters? No, seven and a quarter miles. So I'm looking here at uh, 
Navionics, using it to uh, to navigate to the edge of this marshy peninsula. Oh, there he is. There's a beaver. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Is he gonna come back up? Yep, there he is. paddle up there to him. Yeah, he's definitely swimming away from me. I don't think I'm gonna catch him, to be honest. Here we go. I took a hard right into the into the reeds. I feel like he dipped out on me. If he doesn't want me to see him again, he is not gonna let me. Yep, there's the marsh, and there we are. So overall, distance 8.6. All right, just over eight miles. So we're not gonna be too far off from, uh, from the 20 mile goal. So I'm gonna have the current the tidal current the, and the wind helping me get back, at least for an hour, let's see. 13 is, or uh, one o'clock, 1 p.m. is the hard turnaround time. Sunset is at 6.07, so should be getting back to the launch point by then. All right, I swear I'm gonna get the shot this time. I've just come around the corner on this point and there's a bald eagle out on this old duck blind. I'm gonna try and get the 7200 out and be ready for it this time. So you can see what I'm talking about. We're gonna see if we can't get closer. But I can get a little closer. Oh shit, he's going. goes. I've seen a couple bald eagle sized nests. Anyways, until the next bald eagle sighting, I guess uh, I'll just keep paddling. On we go back towards the marsh. Oh, this water's gross. I don't think it would be deep enough to make it through here on low tide when I came through the first the first time. Get off my boat. Cool. Doesn't seem like there's too much stuff. I definitely wouldn't have done that if it was summertime. I'm worried about snakes. Launch point is nearly within sight. left at about three o'clock. Right, there we go. Some river otters up here playing. See if I can't get something. Oh, perfect. Something cool. I just went under. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get closer, but. I got a little bit of them, of one of them. I saw three. 
Man, it would be cool to get close to them. One of them right there, scoping me out. He's like, got his head barely poked off above the water. Trying to be all sneaky. He's right there. Oh, come on. He was barking at me. Oh, there he is. That's so cool. Parking at me. Whoa, right there. That's so cool. I got, that was, that was pretty cool. They swam up ahead of me. Just doing what they do. That's probably it. Yep, they decided they didn't care about me anymore and swam up ahead. I'll probably see him again. All right, I've just come around the bend, the final bend in the river, and I can see the truck. It's about a half mile away, and we're chilling. It's only 4.30. wasn't the most graceful thing. All right. Final distance was 16.59 miles in nine hours and 23 minutes. Into the shore with you. Obstacle avoidance off. I'm gonna move a lot faster. There we go. All right. That was a little nerve wracking. <laughs> that made me nervous.